Welcome aboard everybody. We're here in Fort Lauderdale, exec, and we are heading to St. Augustine. And I know that sounds pretty uh, repetitive for us, so today we wanted to bring you something a little bit special. So on our way to St. Augustine, we're gonna request the NASA approach. What's the NASA approach? Well, stay tuned. We're 3175 with the executive clearance, cleared to the St. Augustine Airport via radar vector shank, then as filed, maintain 2000, expect 7000, one two minutes after departure, departure frequency 119.7, squad 7433. Yeah. Alright, you got clearance, so then now, even though the ground is up here, I'm going to pop it down here, like we're supposed to do, 12175. Three fingers. You are now on ground. I will enter tower for you. All right, you got seven four three three in there. One one nine point seven is up top. Yep. I got two thousand set here, and then um, we filed for shank two zero eight Foxum. Now, because it's not a departure, we're gonna do a waypoint. Correct. And then now we're gonna do shank. Three five three two Tango or nine or taxi yeah. at Fox. And now two eight. Yep. Well, can I show you something real quick? No. While you do that, go to get out of that. Now watch I'll, it build. Yeah, watch it build. Now so go two eight. We're gonna go two eight. And you see the two eight line draw. And, and now then. we're gonna get off at Foxum. Correct. And you can see the line all the way up. And, and now we already know it's correct. SGJ. And SGJ. Whoa, buddy. What you doing? What you doing? There you go. There you go. We're going to activate. Activate. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to come to four flight. That's uh, which we already have in there. And then we'll come back down to taxi. We just got this cool plate feature, so we'll put FXC here. And we'll select St. Augustine there. Now we can have all of our stuff we want. There's the airport diagram. I can click on taxi route. Because we're going to go to runway 9. The mood just changed with the sun getting covered. <laughs> I was playing at first, but then the mood all changed. I've been chewed up, spit out, boot off stage. Okay. I'd say name that tune, but I think most people probably... Well, I'd say actually probably 50-50. Yeah, I don't know. Song. I mean... Yeah, I'd say it's 50-50. All right, we're on ground. We're on... Nope. One, two, one, seven. Oh, we're on ground. Yes. We are on ground. Look at you. Did you not hear me complaining that I said that you had ground up here, so then I made sure to put it down here where it was supposed to go? No, oh, I never hear you when you complain. <laughs> <laughs> November 3175, Whiskey, traffic caravan in the upwind is straight out. Turn left heading 315, runway 9 clear for takeoff. Left 315, runway 9 clear for takeoff. All right, 315. We are... Contact for this information. Tango's current. The wind is 110 at 12. Altimeter is 29903. Bird advisory. Hazardous weather. Drone activity. Departure. All right, we are clear left. We are clear right. There's that caravan. Yep, point. I see you runway six nine. Six four six He's zero straight out. Second to tire fly southwest bound. Descent to pattern altitude of 1,000 feet. Into the right downwind for runway niner. A little more power on the left, so I don't need as much right rudder. Still the power is all set. Let me grab that. Fly direct to the numbers. Okay. High power set, fuel flow, airspeed is alive. November 990 Lima Charlie, executive tire, waiting I for coronation Miami. 84 knots. Mm. Positive rate, you want to get the gear up? Oh, you start doing this for now on, makes my life easier. That's fine, I was just so focused on the thing. On the caravan? No, on the mark, I was uh, trying to see the mark. Oh, better. I forgot about that, sorry. Yeah. There's 400 feet. November 3175 Whiskey, maintain 2,000 feet, contact Miami Departure. 2,000 feet over Departure, good day, Sam Uh, Mike 1, okay. Departure bearing 3175 Whiskey, 1 1.2, climbing 2,000 on a 315 heading. Alright, 1,3175 Whiskey, Miami Departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 3,000. 3,000, I'd like to get about uh, 15 right, that'd be great, Sam Bosque. 75 Whiskey approved. Alright, 15 right, Sam Bosque, thank you. 
Thunderball 101, traffic 11 o'clock and a mile westbound, 900 feet. Five, three, right. Thunder 101. I mean, ball 101, <laughs> contact approach. 15 right. 0. 15 5, right, and 3,000 3, set. There I go, because oh. I can see right behind this little white cloud. Yeah, and dark cloud behind it. That. And that's what I'm just not really, look, not really looking to go into. I don't have to. 7-5, we'll just be trying to maintain 7,000. 7,000, 7-5, what's going on here? All right, 7,000 is our final altitude, at least for the time being, that's what I filed. 7,000 is set. And I've been having issues with, with pressure. Your ears? Yeah. I don't know what it is. So normally I file for higher than 7,000. One of the reasons I filed for 7,000 is because of this, if we get the NASA approach, that puts us a little bit closer. What's yeah, the NASA approach? You yeah, better stay tuned. Palm Beach approach, parent 3175, Whiskey 5.7, climbing 7,000 on our right deviation for there. November 3175, Whiskey, Palm Beach approach, Palm Beach altimeter is 2904. Uh, when you're able, clear direct to Valka intersection to join Tango 208. Just advise. All right, when able, direct Valka uh, to join 208. I think we can probably do that if now. You, if you need to say. sign on Victor Alpha Lima Kilo Alpha, it's uh, just north of the uh, Treasure BOR up by Vero Beach. Yeah, I have that in my flight plan, direct Valka. Thank you, appreciate it, though. Go ahead, uh, put it in. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Yeah, boom, we'll go direct out of Yeah, that's time. what I was going to say. And 7-5 Whiskey's direct Falca at this time. 7-5 Whiskey, thank you. No, thank you. 7 Hotel Bravo, we have an appeal site. Don't thank me for making my life easier. November 7 Hotel No, I think we're going to be too west than I want. I was going to see if I could see um, Antiquers, because we're right on the edge, which is where, right on the edge of the Everglades, which is right. where it is. So I was curious if I could see it. All right, leveling off 7,000. We'll bring the RPMs back to 2,400. Our temperatures are good, so we will go ahead and close count flaps. I see it. Do you have I do. Hi, Val. Hi, Eric. No, it's always Val and Eric, not Eric and Val. Just saying. Okay, we're headed to 7,000. Here's 7,000. Direct Valka. Direct Valka. Go ahead and turn your autopilot on. Uh, actually, I'm sure we're talking to Palm Beach. Better. Okay. My comms. Your comms. So, for those who are wondering, what's the NASA approach? Sometimes, just sometimes, uh, approach will let you fly uh, what's called a low approach over the NASA, um, what used to be the space shuttle landing runway. It's a 15,000 foot runway. It's the famous runway that we used to all watch the space shuttles when they would come back in from space. We'd watch them land on. And uh, so the NASA approach is when they let you come down and you basically have to do a low approach directly. Come down and go right over. You can't touch down. Wheels cannot touch. But you can come down and just right down the runway. So uh, we are requesting it today. There is a TFR over uh, NASA itself, but technically that runway is just outside of it. So fingers crossed that they'll let us get it. If they don't, I understand why, um, but fingers crossed that they will uh, give it to us and it'll be amazing. So we are currently level cruise, 7,000 feet. We have an indicated airspeed of 164 knots. of have an outside air temperature of uh, 66 degrees Fahrenheit which translates into about 17 degrees Celsius. And that's giving us a true air speed of 186, 187 knots. And I uh, got a little bit of a headwind. Uh, shows it's uh, 293 at 13, so we got a ground speed of 82 knots. And we're currently burning uh, 182. about 29, uh, about 29 gallons an hour. Now, some people often comment about my fuel burn. My fuel burn seems high. My fuel burn is a little higher than most people who fly the Barrens, because most people who fly the Barrens actually 
bring your RPMs back to 2300 RPMs, uh, to which I fly at 2400 RPMs. So because I'm running the RPMs a little faster, I tend to burn a little more fuel, which also gives me a little bit faster um, speeds. So I believe, my personal opinion is, um, the trade-offs are worth it. And um, while I'm burning more fuel, my miles per gallon seem to be about the same. So I'd rather get there faster. November 75 Whiskey, contact line 0132.25. good day, 75 Whiskey. Atta girl. Oh. Valid comm frequency, come on. Not a six. Miami Center, Baron 3175 Whiskey 7000. Baron 3175 Whiskey, Miami Center, good afternoon to Palm Beach, Altimeter 29er, 93. 99375 Whiskey. One of my favorite features on these IFDs is, as you can see here, Executive Ground, Executive Tower, Palm Beach Approach, Miami Center. Oh, yeah. The fact that it tells you who you're talking to, um, sometimes they'll, they'll tell you, and I'm like, wait a minute, what did you, what, what did they say? So it's funny, because in, in my opinion, especially being a student, then you go, okay, I'm so focused on the frequency that I'm focused on putting the frequency in and getting that correct, not frequency and the name, so that then I can wait for 14 calls to then be like, who am I even calling at this point? As always, guys, if you like these videos, be sure to uh, hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. The biggest comment we're going to receive is your subscription to this channel. And be sure to ring that bell for notifications and hit all. And share these videos with your friends. Let your friends know you like what we're doing in here. And uh, it lets us know that you like what we're doing. The more we see the channel grow, the more we know we're doing something right. So uh, be sure to uh, spread the word. We've also got a website, Baron Pilot Shop. If you haven't been, be sure to stop by. Uh, it's full of all kinds of good aviation goodies, from apparel to aviation stuff to glasses, you name it, all kinds of stuff on there. So be sure to stop by BaronPilotShop.com. So today we left a little later than uh, we expected to. Now when we were planning on departing, we were looking at the weather, and there was a little bit of weather that was just building up right along the east coast. It was a thin little line, and we can see it was moving. And we figured by the time we got airborne, that line was going to basically be right on our path. And since uh, Miami Center and Palm Beach, you know, pretty much, actually not so much Miami Center, more Palm Beach keeps us from going east, that would have meant we would have had to go west around it. And so now it's basically chasing us. And so we figured, well, it's a thin line. Uh, there's no reason why we can't wait. I mean, that's the advantage of aviation is when... You have your own plane, you can depart what you want. And so we waited, and then once it was on the line, we're like, all right, it's right where we are going to be going. Let's head to the airport. And then, poof, just like the magic dragon who lived by the sea, it was gone. That, that's that's Puff. That's Puff, I not know. Poof. Poof. Not Poof. His name was not Poof. Poof, magic dragon, no. Oh, my. But he did live by the sea. Just butchered that. I I apologize. I apologize. It wasn't meant to be exact. You know, somebody that we haven't heard from in a while is uh, Moose, the retired New York firefighter. That is true. I haven't seen or heard from him, I think, since Sun and Fun. Yeah, we saw him in Sun and Fun. Right. And then, and then I don't know if he's commented on anything since then. I haven't seen any. So, Moose. Hello, Elrod. Let's go. We miss you. Just want to make sure you're good. We need to know that our peeps are good. Why we like you all to check in every once in a while and just say hi. So Dennis. we know everyone's hi, good. SRQ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you don't even have to say anything. You just do it like SRQ. Like that. Because we got the rest of the hat the hand. The palm tree, the palm hand, tree. I think the sun. And isn't that a smiley face or something? I, or yeah, I forget. It it's always the same thing. Uh, but it's a great way to just say, hey, what's up? Because you know who he is. And I notice it every time. Yeah. Baron Pilot 3175 Whiskey, Kendrick Palm Shore, actually Orlando Approach, 124.8. 124.8, good day, 75 Whiskey. Thanks for the shout out. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Uh, That's so awesome. Orlando Approach, Baron 3175 Whiskey, 7000. Baron 3175 Whiskey, Orlando Approach, Lot 2903. I see in the remarks here you wanted the practice approach into NASA. Uh, unable at this point, as restricted as they're active and come to the airport, so we can't let anybody go in or out. No worries, it was worth a shot. I saw that uh, the TFR that was there, we're still trying. All right, appreciate you, 7-4 Whiskey. 
Roger. If it, if it changes, which uh, it won't, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> Roger that. So if I was good, thanks for trying. Ah, uh, so close. I'm so disappointed. Sorry, guys. Hey, Lando, Baron 317, I was going to have a question. Number 7, uh, Fire Whiskey, go ahead. Yeah, when you put it in the, in the remarks, does that help you versus uh, me just calling up and asking for that? Uh, well, it all depends. If we're super busy and not looking at it, then uh, it helps if you just tell us. But right now, it's pretty slow, so I just I just noticed it on there. But sometimes the flight plan, the routing and everything kind of bumps those remarks out of there, so we don't we don't see it. All right, I just good good to know for future reference. That was good. So what I did when I filed in the flight plan was there's a remark section when you file an IFR flight plan, and in there I had put um, that I was requesting the NASA approach at TTS, and so he saw that. And, um, and so then he was responding to us for that, so I didn't even have to ask him. So it's a good little feature, the remarks. Um, sometimes uh, they see it, sometimes they don't. But uh, it's actually, it could make everyone's life easier, which is why I like the remarks section. But just know that they may not always see it. If, if I had a custom tail number, obviously in the Baron, everyone's gonna say it should be BP for a Baron pilot. But I wonder what I would do, what I would want. As a custom tail number. Park, you're gonna have to know. What do you guys think? Through 1200 or 7000. Uh, put, put I'm afraid to say this, but <laughs> put in the comments below what you think would be a cool tail number besides BP for Baron Pilot. You mean like 8008 Sierra? 800. I don't know what that is. Oh. <laughs> Which you used to do in, on calculators? <laughs> or it's out, it was actually 800813S also. Uh, or five, sorry. Took me a second. I'm a little slow. Ooh. Ooh. On that note. Yeah, on that note actually. Yeah, boobies. I felt, I felt fine, so I'm wondering. I'm really curious. You're warm. My hands are sweaty. Oh, your legs are warm. Your hands are fine. Sun's on it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Daddy's back. Uh, and now it's time for the Baron Pilot Safety Minute. Brought to you by Baron Pilot Shop. I don't know. I, don't know. I got nobody. <laughs> A really important safety feature. I don't really show it on, on camera. Uh, but it's something that we do all the time and we always have with us. And that's this little bad boy right here. American and this is a pulse oximeter. And it does a few things. Uh, most importantly is it measures your O2 level. Your oxygen level is really important and uh, knowing what your O2 level is is, uh, is really good. So what I like to do is when we're on the ground, I'll stick my finger in this to get an idea of where my O2 level is. Now keep in mind, if you're not feeling well, you know, even on the ground, your O2 level should be 98, 99%. Some people might be 100, but doubt it. It's gonna be 98, 99. Um, but it's good to know what your starting point is. And then once you get up to in the air and you get up to altitude, uh, we'll go, we'll stick our finger in here and see where our O2 level is. Now, if you're not feeling well, it can drop down. And if you're dropping down more than, say, nine, so if you're getting out of the 90s, basically, um, you probably want to start uh, breathing in some oxygen. And if you don't have oxygen on board, then you probably want to start getting a little bit lower. But at a minimum, when you're flying, this is a great little safety feature, something that um, lets you know, hey, I'm on my game, or yeah, maybe I feel a little cloudy today. And they say women actually uh, need oxygen a uh, little more than that meant to, what they said, 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet lower 2, is feet when lower. it starts affecting women. It, it affects women versus men. So uh, if you're bringing your loved one with you, uh, check theirs too, even though they're not flying. You know, you don't want them getting headaches and getting getting grumpy, because, well, let's be honest. If she's grumpy, your flight's not gonna be as enjoyable. So anyhow, it's supposed to be my safety minute. It's probably more like my safety three minute, but uh, just food for thought, guys. So could you do Three touch and goes on 15,000 feet. Oh, Jesus. On 15,000 feet. Yeah, I'd say three in the Baron. I mean, in a, heck, if you're in a Cessna, you can probably do six. <laughs> you probably easily do double it for sure. At that point, you just call it bounces. <laughs> At that point, you can just, just call it bounces. So off to the right is the NASA shuttle building. That's where the space shuttle used to be uh, stored in. 
and prepped before they then went down that road and would take it to one of the launch pads. And then just to the left of that is that long 15,000 foot runway that I was hoping to give you the NASA approach on and do it just do a low approach. Like I said, you can't touch down on it. But unfortunately, I'm not sure if there's some rockets or anything on those other launch pads because, you know, we do have all those other um, private space programs now that do launch out of NASA. So I'm not sure if any of them are on there or not. So for my simmers out there, if you notice my flight plan today is a little different. I know some of the simmers out there like to go and they'll put it in the flight plans and uh, fly it on their sims. Uh, you know the flight plan is a little bit different now. This is the new routing that they're going to be giving us from now on. So from Fort Lauderdale Exec to uh, St. Augustine, it was uh, Shank, S-H-A-N-C, T-208, Boxam, F-O-X-A-M, and then direct uh, St. Augustine. So that's part of this new Metroplex that we talked about uh, briefly earlier and in previous videos. And uh, so that's the new routing. Um, so if you fly it on your sim, uh, be sure to use the uh, latest routing. That's what you just did. What did I just do? You moved the Audi into the hangar and didn't grab my purse. Uh, but you don't have keys to your car, or is it in the car? I have a spare key okay. up there. But you don't have your wallet. But I don't have my wallet. Alright, well, you have the most important thing, which is keys. Well, I can give you one of my credit cards, at least you have a credit card. And the rest of my food, for the record. That food's gonna sit in there for a week and rot. Oh. Just saying. Number 75 Whiskey, contact Daytona, 118.85, 1885, have a nice day. 1885, have a good day, Summer Whiskey, thanks. Oops. Daytona approach, brand 3175 Whiskey, 7000. 75 Whiskey, Daytona, altimeter 2994. 994, 75 Whiskey. All right, there's our top of descent. So, we need to start asking for lower. Turn approach, brand 3175, Whiskey, I'd like to start down the one able. For 3175, Whiskey, Daytona, the center maintain 5,000. 5,000, let's get back here. So weird. Uh, there's 5,000. All right, we're beginning our descent. A little 500 foot per minute descent. Uh, weird being right over the coast like this because I keep looking out like, wow, we're really far out. Yeah, now that seems to be a little different. This, yeah. This, this little, slight little, yep. Indent. Oh, that's what he's waiting for right here, this guy off our left. Uh, actually, he's five minutes above us, so that's not who he's waiting for. I'm not sure who he's waiting for. Three, six, seven, four, uh, two, eight. Probably this guy here is 2,200 feet heading towards us. And he is lower, so I should be doing it any time. 3175 Whiskey, the center maintains 3,000. 3,000, Sapphire Whiskey. Alright, 3,000 is set. Down we go. Pull the power back, 18 inches. I see the field. So do I. Go ahead and uh, load in uh, the... Approach for one three, the RNAV. Uh, vectors is fine because it will be a visual. Got it. Yep. Three one seven five. Which is going to maintain two thousand Saint Augustine Airport twelve o'clock and thirteen miles. You can call it. Yep. Two thousand and um, airport inside Central Whiskey. Three one seven five. Which Roger. Field inside. Three thousand. We'll uh, put we'll pay you for the approach. Everyone will go from your radar contact, three miles south of the Craig Airport, Jackson, Timothy 299, to report on station. So you you understood what he said, right? He's he, mumbling, I can't. He said once we get to 3,000, then he'll clear me for the visual. Clear for the visual, okay. No, I heard once we hit 3,000 and then... All right, because we're cleared to 2,000, but once we hit 3,000... He'll clear us to the tower. Visual, yeah. As we're flying over to old St. Augustine. 3175 Whiskey is clear. Big approach runway 13, contact St. Augustine Tower. Clear for the visual over to Tower, good day, 75 Whiskey. Ah, uh, come to. Uh, St. Augustine Tower, Baron 3175 Whiskey on the visual for 13. Baron 3175
Alright, now we can activate the approach. We're going to continue down to Alright, we'll start bringing the power back, start slowing us up, I'll enrich in my mixture just a little bit. So level off here at 1,000 feet. 3175 Whiskey, runway 13, clear to land. 13, clear, clear to land, 10 by Whiskey. Oh. Alright, 13, clear to land. Alright, we're 154 knots, we're going to go flops perch. I was curious if he's going to clear us first before that guy. Yeah, I'm not sure where that guy is. He's over here. He's still 1,700 feet above and um, slow. About midfield. Yep. So basically what I usually do is um, once we're parallel with the numbers, I will then uh, drop my gear. By the time the, the runway is just behind on that 45, um, I'll begin my turn from base to final. And usually, in most airplanes, that works out pretty well. Wait, you're at the numbers? Uh, yeah, I'd say I'm probably at the numbers there. So we'll go ahead and go gear down. We'll begin our turn. Nice casual turn. We'll let the airplane begin to descend. Western 5 Whiskey Fable start to right base. Yeah, in the right base at this time, so we'll just And 139 Romeo Alpha is midfield down, 1413. 139 Romeo Alpha, number two, follow barren traffic, right base to final at a mile. There'll be a full stop, probably 13 clear, touch and go. All right, You're also coming full. inside of Cessna traffic, five miles straight in. All right, we're number two behind that barren. We've got him in sight. We'll look out for that Cessna behind us, and we're clear for the touch and go for 139 Romeo Alpha. 500. 500 feet, we are at 3 green. We follow Cessna traffic down, one approach to the left base. Runway 13, clear to land number three. Power is out. Hold, hold the nose. Hold the nose. Hold it. Uh, eh. I wanted to hold it just to hit more. You're gonna do fuel now? Uh, we will do fuel now. Here no comes. My comps. Consent by whiskey. No delay. Down to Bravo Four. Turn right at Bravo Four. Then contact ground. Good day. Bravo Four. Then contact ground. Good day. Send by whiskey. Welcome to St. Augustine, guys. Hope you enjoyed this flight, this video. Sorry about no NASA approach. I was really Traffic hoping to be able to do that. Say altitude left. As always, guys, one. if you like these videos, hit that thumbs up, subscribe button, base comment where you can receive is. Your subscription to our channel. Your subscription to our channel. Be sure to ring that bell for notifications and hit all. And please, 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 I say it all the time, share this video with family and friends and anyone who you know is an aviation enthusiast. Help this channel grow. Let us know you like what's going on. If you haven't already, be sure to stop by the Baron Pilot Shop at baronpilotshop.com. And if you don't already follow us on social media, you can follow Kim at Flying SIC and myself at Beach Baron Pilot. We're going to get it, fill up these tanks, get some go-go juice, so we're all set for our next flight for you. Gotta watch my wing on the left. Don't want to be hitting any of those poles. That would become a very bad day really quick. So. Anyhow, guys, till next time, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I know, that sun is right in my eyes. No. <laughs>
Here's mom with the spare key. Thank God, thank you mom.